Hi folks, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director looking at some of the new features in version 19. Now one thing that's not particularly a new feature but definitely an enhancement to the program is that the interface has been kind of redesigned, not drastically, but there are some subtle changes in here to reduce clutter and, and to make things function a little more efficiently. You may notice, for instance, that uh, if you've been using previous versions of the program, the Capture tab is missing from the upper left. I guess very few people are actually using Capture tools, but you can still access the Capture area by going from the File menu to Capture or pressing Alt F9. That still gets you the Capture workspace and access to the excellent screen recorder, which has been upgraded here in version 19. And if you want to get back to the editing workspace, you simply go to the file menu and select edit or press alt F10 on your keyboard. You may notice also some subtle changes here to some of the rooms along the upper left of the program. For instance, the media room used to have a little puzzle piece here where you could ask, access a number of subrooms. Instead, in the media room, you can access your media that you've imported into the project, a library of color boards, a library of background music, these are all royalty free clips you can download for free sound clips what appears in here of course depends on which version of the program you have and which packages you've installed but the media room has kind of been subdivided into both the media content which includes those sub rooms and a project room and here in the project room you can access express projects of course little templates for building your video projects or you can access my projects which is all of your projects that are on your computer's hard drive and as you know one of the high level features here in PowerDirector is its ability to use embedded projects or to use a project file as media in another project. Each of the media rooms accessed by clicking on these little tabs to the left has sort of subcategories or tags that you can use to easily browse to a particular effect or a particle or title making it easier to find your way around and then the function buttons have also been kind of reduced here along the top of the timeline if you select a clip that has let's add an effect to a clip just drag that onto that clip if you select a clip your options as far as function buttons are to access the effects controller to fix or enhance the video clip to keyframe some animation or under tools you have access to a number of designers now there used to be a few more function buttons here and there were power tools uh, they've simplified all of that by putting everything just under tools again reducing clutter and simplifying now none of these are major changes to the program they're just sort of tweaks to the interface and if you've been using previous versions of the program, you should be able to find your way around very, very easily. But they're worth noting as some of the latest improvements the CyberLink is making to this already terrific program. Now, if you want to know more about the program, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. You want to know everything about this program and how to use each one of these workspaces, designers, effects. Be sure to check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It is available at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and I hope to see you at MoviePix. Take care.